The New World Heavyweight Champion, the Macho Man Randy Savage. A lot is going on as we head to Starcade. The Macho Man is the champ, and he has to fend off either Sting, Lex Luger, or Ric Flair, the winner of that triangle match. And here's the man without a lady, Diamond hey, Dallas. I don't know if you call her a lady or not. He's without his arm beat. You got something from you stole from me. You stole my belt. You stole my lady. I'm coming to get it all back. It's mine. You're like a thief in the night. You stole something from me. You know, I don't know about you, Shivani, but you just can't turn on your emotions on and off. And she, after all these years with this man right here, this millionaire, she just can't turn it off. She's still got something for him. Well, you know, that you may be right there. A lot of mixed emotions for the Diamond Doll when Johnny B. Bad won the the match recently in World War III. Johnny B. Bad is part, by the way, and I'm certain sure the Diamond Doll will be there with him, is part of Starcade, and he'll be facing the legendary Mr. Saito at Starcade coming up on Wednesday, December 27th, two days after Christmas, by the way. And you know, years ago, I used to manage Mr. Saito. Ah, uh, so. Hey, same to you. <laughs> So, uh, you know a lot about this guy, I can... Oh, yes, I do. And he's learned a lot from you, right? Well, we were very good very good business partners. But the man is one tough individual. Extremely tough. If he knows you like he should, then he should have let Sonny Ono know about this business deal that you worked up that fell through. Well, it wasn't that. It was just nothing more than American red tape. I explained to him. But the man, the Japanese people are so wealthy, and they have so much pride in their... Their choices and the decisions they make, they know I didn't do them wrong. So stop it. Speaking of doing wrong, Diamond Dallas is a man you can tell on a mission. I mean, it wasn't too long after uh, he lost in World War III that he he approached the Diamond Dog, gave her a bouquet of flowers, had a well, like object I, in it. You know, like I said, you, well, it was a bracelet, it looked to me like. But you can't turn your emotions on and off. Am I right? I don't know. I can well, you know, I remember one time when, at Christmas, my mother bought me a Mercedes, and it was red, and I wanted a blue one. I didn't talk to her for almost a year and a half. Really? So you're right about that. Yeah, that can happen. I guess you're right. There's a man without a number lady, too. As a matter of fact, whatever happened, did you drive that Mercedes? Did you just let it sit in the uh, Oh, no, garage? I have a driver. Oh, you have a driver. Mm. All right, Diamond Dallas. Boy, he's putting on the diamond cutter on Buck Quartermain. It's just not the same without the doll in his corner. That's right. It's just not the same. And it's his fault. It's like Ozzy without Harriet. Sonny without Cher. Yes. Okerlund with a rug. <laughs> Ten plus. That's right. Well, it's his fault. He's the one that put her up. He's the one that offered to put her up in an effort to get the TV title back. He lost her. Get over with it. And to use her terminology, Dallas, zip it. All right, zip it. Guess he doesn't want Dallas to speak. I'll speak for him. There's the man, Diamond Dallas Page. You might as well say a man without a woman. But it won't be long. You'll take out this ham and egger with the diamond cutter. And on next is the doll. She's got to go back to him. This man's got 13 million bucks, sweetheart. I mean, you can lead a gift horse to water. It doesn't make him a duck. Uh, you're right again, Brain. Your winner with his own cards. Diamond Dallas Page on Worldwide.